Hello everybody and welcome to another toy review. Today, thanks to the guys over at Asmus Toys, we're taking a look at something a little bit different. This is the 1 6th scale Gandalf the Grey, which is a licensed product from the movie The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies. Now, if you've been following my channel, you will know that I'm mainly a Transformers reviewer, but have started to take a step onto the slippery slope that is the 1 6th collectible action figures. And I want to take you all on this journey. First impressions, the box has come through, it's pretty heavy. The words The Hobbit and Gandalf are actually embossed on the front of the box and are slightly raised. And taking a look at the back of the box, we have Gandalf battling away, we have the warnings and notices, and of course the license stamps from MGM and New Line Cinemas. To take a look at more of the Asmus products, visit asmustoys.com. As we open up the box, we get an insert with our first look at Gandalf, the actual figure. We get a quick story on Gandalf, and we also get informed that this is actually item 561 of 1500. On the scheme of things, 1500 isn't actually that many, is it? I mean, that's quite a small run. Now, with the removal of the insert, we get nice foam padding, we get his accessories stored, and we also get an instruction manual telling us how to attach the accessories. All of the accessories are stored in a nice hard plastic clamshell, so nothing's going to get damaged. And that's everything out of the box. I think I'm going to need a bigger reviewing slab. All right, let's start by constructing the base. You get this double threaded screw, just plug that in like so, and then you want to uh, thread the base onto the bottom. Just screw those both together until it gets nice and tight, like so. We can then bring in our figure stand, which slots into the top of the display base, like so. And I have also included the alternative Lord of the Rings base plate. Uh, you just remove this section and plug it in. Now, before we take a look at Gandalf himself, let's take a look at some of his accessories. Everything is fabric, nothing is plastic. We get a very nice cloth bag here with a little bag attached. This can go up and over his head, but you will have to move his hair up and slide that over. It's a nice bag. It's... Uh, open up there, you can put various objects inside. I might store some of his hands in there. But again, it's kind of a felt-ish material, uh, but it's very nice. It's done extremely well. We have his sword, again, been done to a very high level of detailing. Very nice hilt. This is actually die cast. The uh, sheath is uh, plastic, can be removed. We do have a very nice die cast sword there. It's a, a fair bit of weight to that as well. Just slide that back in. You will have to be careful because this is quite sharp and pointy. We have his smoking pipe made of a kind of softish plastic so no fear of breakage but very high level of detailing nonetheless. And then we have Gandalf's staffs. So we actually have three variations included in this set. Our levels of detailing are very consistent throughout. A nice bit of weight to these, but they are made of very flexible plastic. This is the first staff. Second, we have a jewel encrusted within the top and various markings throughout the shaft. And the last, we have the twisting knotted roots at the top there with his bag attached and notches along each section. Again, all of these are made out of a very flexible, very pliable plastic. And that also comes with some very nice, highly detailed additional hands. Look at the paint applications on those, very dirty nails, a bit of dirt on his palm as well there and you've got some aged veins. This is one of his gripping hands. They're made of a almost Action Man-esque rubbery plastic. This one's slightly more open. Maybe uh, good maybe good for uh, holding the pipe in that hand. And lastly we get again a slightly more opened fist. Uh, maybe for holding the sword or for holding one of the staffs. 
Attention to detailing though, he is uh, extremely impressive. Comes with a cloth cloak with a hood and a tie. Very, very dirty around the bottom. That's a good attention to detail there because obviously it's gonna be dragging on the floor or on horseback, so that's where it would get dirty. We have his hat. Uh, it's nice with a nice big rim on there. It's very accurate to the movie. And we have his scarf. Uh, the scarf in itself I think could do with being a little bit dirtier. It looks a little bit too new for Gandalf and does look slightly out of place when we place it on the figure. And speaking of Gandalf, here he is. Uh, I'm actually genuinely very impressed. The early product shots were a bit ifish, uh, and I really think they've pulled it through. I think in hand, that's a very good resemblance to Sir Ian McKellen. And I think the clothes and attention to detail on the clothing is what really impresses me the most. Uh, the sculpt itself is very good, but a lot of companies can get that sculpt now with 3D scanning and 3D printing, but it's the attention to detail. I mean, even the gloved sections over the fingers, uh, covering the hands, and the way the belt is tied, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Scrolling down to his Middle Earth trousers, he's got some very nice detailing, and some dirt uh, mucked across the base here from where they've been scuffing on the floor. And I love the little suede slip-on shoes as well. They've even got laces. I believe the instructions tell us to loop the handle through this section which is attached to the cloak and then we loop this blue section in between and then we shuffle those together and just pull this section across. This should now hold our sword in place. Now before I go and put his hat on, just look at him all layered up in his clothing. It's not very practical for him but darn he looks good. I've just got kind of the cape just uh, hidden over there behind the arm. I'm trying to get a pretty natural pose there. I love how the sword is kind of all tied on there. I need to uh, correctly tie that. But I just think it's oldie worldy and I really like uh, what they've done with it. I think the clothing especially really does make this figure and set it apart from some of the other one sixth manufacturers in the market. Here is a uh, closer look at that face sculpt. See, I think they have done a remarkable job of capturing Sir Ian McKellen in there. The beard itself is one fixed section, but the sculpting is extremely nice. And we do have a couple of uh, loose hairs going on here. Basically, most of this hair is threaded, uh, but there is a gray painted scalp underneath there. But I mean, just look at those eyes. They really do pop, don't they? He's just having a a quick puff <laughs> between scenes. Now articulation wise, he's pretty dynamic for an old guy. The head can look up and down and left and right. There is some hindrance with the beard and the cloak, but you can make it work just by maneuvering it. The hair is a bit scraggedy. It can be tucked behind and brushed to the side accordingly. Uh, the shoulders, if we can get underneath the cloak, they can go up and around, we've got a nice range of motion in there. We've got a nice bend at the elbow. We've got rotation at the elbow. We have a rotation ball joint at the wrist. Weight can crunch forwards and back, and we do have some rotation in there. The legs can come this far forwards, and this far backwards, come out to the side, full on Gandalf splits. There is also an upper thigh rotation. We have a nice 90 degree bend at the elbow. And we have pivots on the foot as well as forwards and backwards. So we can get him in some very dynamic posing. With the simple addition of just adding that hat over his eyes there, you now cast a shadow over the eye section here, which makes him look a lot more menacing and a lot angrier. And because of all that articulation, he can have a really powerful stance on the rock while he's cupping his sword ready to draw. And of course, he's got his staff there ready for battle. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the one sixth collectible action figure, Gandalf the Grey from Asmus. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. I really like it. It's very well built. The attention to detail is extremely well done. I know I'm pretty new to this uh, 1 6th community, but 
If this is anything to go by, I am gonna have one heck of a ride. I love the fact this comes with its own diorama. I think that's a nice little touch. The dirt around the bottom of the trousers, the mud and grime around the hands, the dirty nails, the elderly wrinkled veiny details on the back of the hands. Every little detail counts. The likeness is exceptionally good. I do love the fact that they've gone with a mixture of both the fixed and loose hair. I'm glad it wasn't all fixed because with the loose hair at the back you get so much more range. If you've enjoyed the video, let me know by giving me a big thumbs up, sharing and subscribing. I will be including a full gallery over on benscollectibles.com in the next few days. But until then, thank you all for watching. Until next time from myself and Gandalf, goodbye. Oh, shall not pass!